So just one more quarterfinal to come, and it's women's doubles. The All England champions, Chang Ye Na and Lee So Hee, up against the home players, Della Destiara Harris and Rosita Ika Putrisari. Now, as far as the women's doubles draw is concerned, the winners of all four Super Series events so far this year all appeared at the quarter-final stage. The winners of Malaysia, Fukushima and Hirota are going down to the winners of the India Super Series, Tanaka and Yonemoto in that top section. And the winners of the Singapore event, Yul and Pedersen, they went down to Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yi Fan. So it is the winners of the All England, Jack Ye Na and Liu So He, who are up against the home and now players. I think the other interesting thing about that women's doubles draw as we see the players come on to court. Six different nations involved at quarterfinal stage, two Japanese pairs as we saw the winners of Malaysia and India Super Series events and two Indonesian pairs. So the home players here in the women's doubles discipline are doing very well indeed. Awanda and Istriani the other Indonesian pair, and they'll be playing on one of the adjoining courts later on. And the All England champions, Jang Ye Na and Lee So Hee, have chosen which end of the court they wish to start. So there's the left handed Jang Ye Na. She was a semi finalist here three years ago playing with Kim So Young. She and her partner of today were quarter finalists last year when they were the number eight seeds. So they're hoping to go one better uh, than their position last year. Now they're enjoying their 10th week at their career high of three in the world ranking. Jung Ye Na, 27 years of age, born in Seoul. Her partner he enjoyed a birthday two days ago. Wednesday, turned 23. Born in Ulsan, and they are currently number one on the Super Series standings. Now, that's not altogether surprising because they've been in two semi finals and won the All England in the four Super Series tournaments up until now. And they've been very convincing uh, so far in the tournament. Yesterday, if you were with us, you will have enjoyed that match uh, against the winners of the Thailand Grand Prix Gold event, Polly and uh, Rahayu. Two straight games, but look at the length of time, just four minutes shy of the hour mark for those two games. There were some wonderful rallies in that women's doubles yesterday with the Koreans. So to uh, Della Destiara Harris, is 24 years of age, born in Jakarta, and they are currently 15 on the world ranking. It's the highest Indonesian pair. They did spend three weeks from the middle of February earlier this year at 13 on the world ranking. So Ready put the Sari, born in Sleman which is near Yogyakarta. She'll turn 21 next month. So Rosita Ika Putrisari is the youngest player on court. Well, they played last year, they lost in the first round, but look who they beat yesterday. Former world number ones and the number six seeds, the identical twin sisters, Liu Ying and Liu Yu. 
an hour and 30 minutes to win through in three games. So this is the third meeting between the two pairs of the previous two. The Koreans have won both of them and both in two games, including the last time they met, which was in the second round of the Hong Kong Super Series last year. 18 and 16, as you briefly saw, as we once again look at our court officials for our last quarter final here this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Shang Ye Na, Lee Su Hee, Korea. And on my left, Della Deschiara Harris, Rosita Eka, Putri Sari, Indonesia. Della Deschiara Harris to serve to Lee Su Hee. Lovo, play. So, Della Deschiara Harris. The first uh, hit a shuttle in this quarter final. <laughs> and for Della Destiari Harris, it's actually her third quarter third final here with her third different partner. Now. Versatile player Harris. Judgment from the so he serves over two one. Out. Serves over. So you know, have you had much of a chance to see this Indonesian pair? No, I haven't seen them a lot. Very, very little actually. I, I, I can't really uh, say much about their, their playing style. I've seen Della Harris on a number of occasions. Um, my my feeling is that she's got a more attacking, strong partner, taller girl, which is Sari. Well, I remember one of the first times I saw this Indonesian pair play together was at the 2015 German Grand Prix Gold when they reached the final and they lost out to Yule and Pedersen in the final. But the real story was that Putri Sari, immediately after the final, was rushed to hospital and she had to undergo a hernia operation. She yeah. played the final badly injured. Just wide. Third, third, third. I saw some Three glimpses old. of their match against the Lu sisters uh, from, from China. Uh, quite a number of long rallies and I would expect them to play reasonably Indonesian with um, a great touch, uh, good, good skills. Four, three. Very interesting to see how, how strong they are in the attack, whether it means something that um, Masari is a, a bit uh, taller than most of the Indonesian um, women's doubles players. Reserve for all. Very 
sufficient. That left handed Zerba. smash from uh, Chang Yuna. Five, four. Six, five. Oh, nice turn of events from Harris. Rally. <laughs> Fabulous rally. Oh, it's gone long. Seven shots. Not the longest rally of the day. That was 88 in the first of our men's doubles. <laughs> I don't think anybody should underestimate Eight, the quality of the Indonesian pair. They may not have ever been beyond a quarter-final in a Super Series event. Perhaps they will go on better today, but they have beaten the Olympic bronze medalists. Look at that wonderful, wonderful little block into the open space. They've beaten the Olympic bronze medalists, Chung Kyung Ung and Shin Sung Chan on two occasions Nine, last year. Seven. Also had a victory over Matsutomo and Takahashi. That was in the German Open when they reached the final a couple of years ago. Yeah. So they're a good pair. There, there's no doubt they can play in. And it would be really, really foolish to underestimate them, especially as underdog in Indonesia. Yeah. Um, there's not that many Indonesian uh, players left in the tournament, so there's no doubt they're going to play their heart out, these two girls here.
comes to an end at those four straight points. Now send to signal to the All England eight, champions. Mes that. Message of intent. Yeah, outside the picture, uh, Rakumin was uh, applauding uh, from the coach's chair and explaining something to the Korean players. And that's going to be really interesting to see how this unfolds after the interval when the coaches have had a chance to um, talk to the players. Uh, the head to head being uh, 2 0 in, uh, in favor of the Koreans it means that it's probably the Indonesians who's had the biggest possibility of, of uh, coming up with a little bit of a different game plan. Now the Koreans, they have a chance to adjust. Rocky Min won the mixed doubles here in 2003. And now husband, Kim Dong Moon. Really quite extraordinary. Seven of the last eight points. Yeah. And the Koreans, they haven't come up with any solution to the uh, Indonesian game. Uh, to me, they're committing way too much in, in the attack, the Koreans. Um, so they risk getting counter-attacked and I also think they're directing way too much of their attack towards uh, De La Dixiara Harris. I would um, prefer them to uh, target Puchasari a, a bit more in, in the defense. Because Harris is more creative on her defensive play and turning it? Yes, and, and she's the one uh, that normally uh, has to come forward. I think she's the fast of the two players, so a drop shot to uh, Putasari. And then some smashes uh, might do a lot of damage. Very often, very often you can see um, 10, when, when the players have a free lift here, Harris, she lifts towards herself, towards her own side, so she wants to have the defense directed at her. And that's often a very good indication of where you shouldn't uh, hit too much. Mm. dominant player so far, 14, 10. this woman. Yeah. 
Yeah, she put that away with Venom. That wasn't coming back. Oh, this is one of her strong sides, uh, Lisa Lee, when she can come forward in the forehand side. Wasn't a good service. The service from uh, Lee Sung Hee. too much they have to play with bigger patience 15, 11. Uh, just taking the captain's role again down here now Goodness, that was going wide, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, and that one as well. Oh, how did she get it back? What a run! Oh, disappointing end to a wonderful rally. Oh, her, her racket is totally smashed. Oh, yes. Oh, goodness, I hadn't noticed that. Not only the that. swings, but the, the frame of the racket. When did that happen? Oh, you can see it's, yeah. it's gone. Yeah. No hope. Well, Not quite sure when it happened. Me. Oh, here. That's when it happened. That's yeah, when yeah. it happened. There you go. Great spot, Steen. She played two good returns. That's why she moves forward. Yeah. Yeah, she's got no hope for this one. Yeah, yeah. Short. Yeah. 
Well, certainly no sign at the moment of any fatigue from yesterday's match, lasting an hour and 30 minutes for the Indonesians. No, it's a little bit easier when you're winning. <laughs> yeah. Right? Good defence. Yeah. Very well played by Lee So He. And that's exactly my point. I mean, what happened if the Koreans said, okay, we're not going to attack too much. You can attack and see what mm. you can do. But then I think the Indonesian pair are going to have a tough time scoring against the Koreans because they mostly have been scoring on... Um, counter-attacking situations, not necessarily on the direct shot, but following a counter-attack where the Koreans are in a sort of changing position from uh, offense to defense. Just wide. 16, 19. And this is the sort of score where nerves can really play a part. Very important rally right now. I thought it was going wide. a golden opportunity for the Koreans. Another long rally. But it was definitely long. And game point opportunities now for the Indonesians. Using the reverse slice to keep that straight. Chang Yena. There's over. 17 20.
Oh, it's landed in. Opening game to Della Destiara Harris and Orazita Ika Putri Sari. 21 17. 21-17. First ever game they've taken off uh, this Korean pair. 24 minutes needed as well. Oh, it's clearly in, is it? That's plumb on the line. So the coaches have had their say, given their advice. Second game. Lobo. Well, we've seen a day of upset so far in a number of our matches. And we're about to see another upset here with the All England champions from Korea. Perhaps are being beaten by the unseeded Indonesians. Ooh. Down the line. One look. Mm, stepped in on that, yeah. Harris. Uh, good rally. Uh, the Indonesians have um, difficulties uh, converting the uh, attack to points on this far side of the court here. Korean defense gets a little help, and the Indonesian attack doesn't get any help from uh, the drift, provided that we are correct in our read, which we actually have been doubting. A yes, bit. we have. Well, we did say at the start of uh, the day that it can change. Very much. Thank you. 
not the best of serves. Well, they're challenging this. They thought that kill from the front of the court there went along with that back line. and uh, put us at it. Four, five. Hey. Oh, that's a clever smash. Saw that she was weighted, committed to her forehand defense. Making it very third, awkward third for her. Six, four. Yeah, that was sort of a half smash, really, wasn't it? A little change of pace, actually doing the damage. Seven, four. We're not really seeing the length of rally as we saw in the opening game, are no, we? No, not at all. That's no, well taken. Serves over. Nine five.
Face we're in right now, where I think both pairs are still really struggling to figure out how to play on, on the sides of the court that they're on right now. Uh, on the Korean pair, it's clearly Chang In out with the uh, better ideas. Uh, uh, so he seems uncertain of how to play and what, what the game plan is and so on. And, and the Indonesian, of course, they've, they've got to come up with something different from, from the first game because the conditions are, are changed. Uh, I feel they have a, a good chance in, in the flat game if they can get that going, but they have to be careful not to overcommit to their attacks like we saw the Koreans do in the first game. Then they will get counterattacked. Yeah. Struggling, so he definitely struggling. Eight, ten. So the number three seeds have a three-point advantage here in the second game. And I do think the drift has changed a little. Tough, tough task for the Koreans to play just 14 days after they won the uh, world title in the Sudirman Cup team. Yeah, the exact same thoughts were going through my mind about whether there's a, an emotional reaction yeah. because obviously they'll have been on a high having won the Sudirman Cup, but after every high, it's the law of physics. There's got to be a bit of a trough and whether they can raise themselves again for these Super Series tournaments. I mean, it was so, and this women's doubles pair were, were so instrumental in that Sudirman Cup victory. They were. Yeah, don't celebrate before the line judge has made the call. Good service return. Very good service return from um, Putrasai. Aimed at the left Very shoulder of uh, Chang Yuna. 10, 12. So 
Serve, serve, bro. 13, 10. That's way in. Well, Stina, I can still ten. feel a breeze on my back here yeah. where we're sitting in yeah. the stadium. But earlier on in the tournament, I would have said that one was get, definitely going wide. Yeah. But that stayed in. Yeah. Uh, it's that, that's what makes it so difficult here that the, the, the drift is simply changing. And We've seen also a number of mistakes uh, on this uh, near baseline here that we did not at all see yesterday. That was going wide. Counter-attack. Oh, should run off to get in the <laughs> rack. <laughs> good, uh, good wrong spot moment. <laughs> yeah, you've got to choose your moment well, haven't you? 61 shots. Longest rally of this second 15, game. 10. Look, off she goes. Yeah, that's a shocking serve. It's going wide. Yeah. Oh, that's how on earth that wasn't severely punished. That oh, I was going to say low serve, but it wasn't low at all. Serve is over. 11-15. Smashes from uh, Putrisari. Powerful and steep. Getting herself in a little bit of better position every time.
big swing at that defensive shot here. Drill. Makes timing very difficult. They've opened up their five-point cushion again, the Koreans. from Chang Ye Na. 18 drill. Her partner's way, Chang Ye Na, allowing Lee So Hee to come forward. And I like the drop shot they put in there to Putrisari because it takes her out of her defensive stance. Not always that you can exploit it, but then try and play two drop shots in a row and see what happens. point opportunities to level this quarter final at one game apiece. net play from Aris. Hey. Oh, oh service for oh, called hey. and that's gifted the second game to the Koreans. Second game won by Sang Yena. Lee Su He 21-13. 21-13. 13. Confirms Bert van Horenbeck. And it's one game all. So, Steen, I'm guessing this is where the fatigue from last night's hour and 30 minute match against the former world number ones, Luo Ying and Luo Yu, might have its effect on the Indonesian pair. Average rally length. 
14.7 shots Final in the second game, game which is yeah, consistent Local. with um, uh, I call for a little bit more Blake. patience from the Korean side in order to not sort of uh, self-destruct in attack yeah, but um, the real test is here when they're playing this far side and I agree with you Jill now we're about the time where yesterday's match perhaps start to uh, have an impact yeah Ugh. Now you mentioned that counter-attack yeah. on the defense yeah. in the first game for the Koreans. And let, let the Indonesians attack and see what they can do because yeah. I feel that the Koreans are pretty solid in their defense and we know they are. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's important for the Indonesians not to get left behind now here in the, in the first part of this uh, decider because they know they're in for a tough time when they change ends. from Chang Ye Na, but I remember you saying to me, Steen, when we were on the Gold Third Coast for the Sudaman Cup, they don't four. vary their serve enough, no. and I've been watching ever since, and she doesn't. But they've actually, they've varied today, because they've had one flick serve, <laughs> and yesterday they didn't have any. Yeah. And, and but that, it's pretty much the Korean style, I mean, they stick to the plan they have, and, and if the plan is not good enough, they die with it, so to speak. Yeah. Um, I remember the Danes in, in men's doubles for a number of years, uh, uh, even when, when the service situation became really, really important. Uh, so if you weren't that good in the service situation, you were a little bit uh, behind. But when you were playing Koreans, you were still competitive because the Koreans didn't target the service situation until later on. They, they were content playing their defensive style. Mm. Um, so so there, there's many positive things about it uh, because, I mean, you you focus on yourself and, and how you want to play, um, but sometimes it can be done a little bit easier if you take the opponent's playing style a little bit into into account when you uh, play a game. on that service return, Chung Yin was, was that service, that low service, was that so bad? No, I just thought she was quick. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, she served out wide. That was a bit of variation. Yeah, and look how it's 
been to their benefit. Uh, it means so much to to have variation in your game because mm. I mean, there's nothing more um, delightful than when you know exactly what you can expect from the opponent. Maybe they're making high quality shots, but you know exactly where they're gonna come. That, that's the best feeling. It's a nice backhand. Backhand drive from Della Bestiara Harris, setting up the rally. from um, Chang Yena. She had that, that's the second service return error in a row and, and she's let the Indonesians back into this third game. Strings. Oh, <laughs> that's even better. But they, they've been quite uh, successful in um, in playing the tram lines in the attack. There's not a whole lot of room there, but um, yeah. if you can hit it, there's possibilities. Scott 
had to follow up there. Lee So he. Lampard says to change ends because first pair to 11 in this deciding game. Yeah, that was a flatter smash. So, just picking up on your point, Steen, you want Lee so he to commit forward. Yes. Yeah. Because if it goes over her, she can just play clear to the baseline of the opponents. But since they have really good defense so you can't you can't expect to kill it from mid court even yeah, yeah. You, you definitely can't expect it to kill it from the back court but even from mid court it's difficult to kill it especially if you're in, in uh, if, if you're moving while hitting so when your partner has it in mid court and is attacking you've got to cover the other side and then cover from mid court towards front court move forward push forward in order to overcover the the front court to create points because the opponent's defense is so good nowadays yeah. that you have to be two in order to cover it. And make sure that you can sort of uh, turn the offense into points. Otherwise, if, if uh, the defense can just block cross and, and then be uh, back at a 50-50 uh, situation, that's not good enough. They're in, they're in control now, the Koreans, and, and they also got the lock on their side. Seven. She was swinging a little late for that um, third shot, Chung Yin Ah, but uh, managed to get it. No attempt to try and attack that low serve. No. We saw that um, in, in Sudirman Cup when Thailand was beating Denmark with Sapsere and um, um, Kitty Harakpo beating uh, Pedersen and Ritter Yule. There were several times where they didn't attempt uh, a creative service return. They, they were content just Eight, lifting. 13. And of course, that could be useful if you feel you have a really solid defense and, and uh, are behind your opponents in, in the service situation. Two against one on half court. Yeah, Harris under severe pressure in that rally. 14 8. My goodness me. There it was. There was the follow-up. Right, so when Zhang Ye Na is pulled yeah. out slightly wide, she's got to cover the whole of that half-court area. Yeah. So, there. there. Exactly. Yeah. And they could turn it into a point now because she followed up. She was alert to that front-court area. She's got to believe her partner put so much pressure on the opponents that they can't lift it. Oh, 
Sean Long. Correction. 16, 8. That was, that was never called in by the line judge. No, no. <laughs> Umpire overruling and saying correction. Good umpiring. It's clearly long. Yeah, they're running away with this now. The Koreans. 17-8. Credit to the Indonesians because they, they played their chance. They they gave everything they had, and I think what we discussed that this uh, long match yesterday might yeah. have had an impact on it, and also the uh, the Koreans' uh, adjustment and playing a little bit more patient. Oh, with Flicka, she, she, she was leaning so much forward, Putrisari there. A Flicka. That was good, would have been an all right, uh, outright winner. Mm, that's nice. go for some of those chances now they've got to score some easy points in order to have a chance of uh, winning this match Yeah. Match point opportunities for the number three seeds, Jeremy A. Noah and Lee So He. from a game down the All England champions to book their place in the semi-final here at the Indonesian Open. Oh, in the end, it was decisive in the deciding game. I know that there was a run of five straight points from 8-18 to make the score a little more respectable. But one always felt in the deciding game, it was Zhang Yenar and Lee Sohee who would prevail. They dropped the opening game though to 17. 
and then won the next two, 21-13, 21-13, and a match lasting an hour and 11 minutes. So, gone at least one place better than they did last year, Jiang Yena and Lee So Hee, because they were beaten in the quarterfinal a year ago. They'll contest the semi-final tomorrow. And that semi-final will be against Tanaka and Yonimoto, who, of course, were winners of the India Super Series event. So what a day it's been here in Jakarta, quarterfinals day. It all started uh, with Pranoy from India, who followed up his win yesterday against Li Chongwei, the defending champion and six-time winner. And today he beat the reigning world and Olympic champion, Chen Long. What a match that was, an hour and 15 minutes to come through 21-19 in the deciding game. Uh, then in the men's doubles, well, it was the unseeded pair from China, Liu Cheng and Zhang Nan, that uh, got the better of the number six seeds, Komora and Sonoda from Japan. Uh, then it was uh, women's singles and Jindapon. Well, yesterday uh, she had a wonderful victory over the three-time former champion, Saina Nawal, former world number one. Today she had a wonderful victory over the current world uh, number one, Tai Su Ying. And Tai Su Ying's run of uh, uh, victories in international competition comes to an end 182 days after she last lost in international competition. Exactly an hour and a minute for that victory for Jindapon. Then it was uh, the men's doubles and Bo and Bogensen uh, back at world number ones uh, yesterday in the new world rankings. Well, they were simply too good for the former European champions Ivanov and Sozanov. They had to have four game points in that opening game, though, before they won it 23-21 and a very comfortable second game. And as we've just seen in the women's doubles, the All England champions Zhang Yena and Lee So Hee coming from a game down uh, to win 21-13 in the deciding game against Harris and Putrisari of Indonesia. An hour and 11 minutes for that women's doubles. Well, that's quarterfinals uh, finished for the day. We will be back with semi-finals a little earlier tomorrow. That's three o'clock local time. That's 0800 GMT from Steen Peterson and myself, Jill Clark. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.